My name is Harry Sokol. I am professor of gastroenterology in Saint Antoine Hospital and Sorbonne University in Paris, France. And I'm going to present you our recently published paper in GUT entitled Rewiring the Altered Tryptophan Metabolism as a Novel Therapeutic Strategy in Inflammatory Bowel Disease. Tryptophan is an essential amino acid that you can find in diet and that is used for protein synthesis, but also uh, which is a precursor of a large family of active metabolites. Uh, tryptophan can be used by our own cells, human cells, uh, into two different pathways, the serotonin pathway and the IDO pathway. But it can also be used by the microorganism from uh, our gut microbiota through the indole pathway. In the current project, we were particularly interested into exploring the kinurenin pathway. We started by performing a dense time course analysis into the colitis model, uh, into the DSS induced colitis model in mice, uh, and we performed a targeted metabolomics uh, to quantify tryptophan metabolites. We observed that some metabolites, such as kinurenic acid and xanthurenic acid were negatively correlated with intestinal inflammation, while others, such as kinurenin and kinolinic acid, were positively correlated with inflammation. Here, this is an example of what we saw. Uh, you can see that kinurenic acid and xanthurenic acid into the second content were negatively correlated with the percentage of weight loss. So we wanted to confirm whether these results were also true in humans, and so we analyzed two different cohorts of patients with IBD. Here are the results of one of these cohorts involving more than 1,000 patients with IBD and roughly 100 LC controls. Here again, we observed that uh, patients with IBD had a lower amount of xanthurenic acid and kinurenic acid compared to LC subjects. So the next question was to know whether the decrease in xana and kina were only secondary to inflammation or if they could act into the inflammatory process itself. To address this question, we treated mice submitted to DSS-induced colitis experiment with these two metabolites. And indeed, we observed that this treatment uh, induce a protection regarding intestinal inflammation as assessed here uh, with weight loss and also disease activity index uh, but this was also true with the other parameter we looked at. To understand uh, a little bit better the mechanism underlying this protection we first looked at the epithelial cells and we observed that these two metabolites were able to stimulate the proliferation of intestinal epithelial cells and also intestinal healing in vitro. And here this is uh, the data regarding KI67 staining which is associated with epithelial cells proliferation. Interestingly, these effects were dependent on the aryl hydrocarbon receptor AHR and we also demonstrated that Xana and Kina are potent AHR agonists. We observed that uh, indeed these two metabolites were able to stimulate, to stimulate mitochondrial function in intestinal epithelial cells. Here this is a result uh, based on the mitotracker assay. And this result was confirmed by Seahorse experiment showing that Kina and Xana were able to boost maximal respiration of intestinal epithelial cells. These results were observed in a cell line and they were confirmed in colon organoids. Then we wanted to explore whether this metabolite might also act on lymphocytes as, this meta as uh, lymphocytes are crucial for uh, intestinal inflammation. And indeed, we observed that Xana and Kina uh, induce a decrease in mitochondrial activity in mouse CD4 positive T cells. Interestingly, these effects were lost in uh, cells isolated from mice lacking AHR, suggesting that the effects were AHR dependent. 
This result were also confirmed using seahorse, notably by showing that Xana and Kina were able to boost glycolysis, both basal glycolysis and also compensatory glycolysis. So globally, we showed that Xana and Kina were able to stimulate epithelial cells proliferation and healing through a mechanism dependent on AHR and by boosting oxidative phosphorylation. We also observed that these two metabolites were able to boost T cells and notably the TH17 phenotype into, uh, in a, uh, through a mechanism dependent on AHR and this was associated with a boost in glycolysis. Then we came back to the metabolism pathway and we realized that both Kina and Xana were indeed produced by the same, the same enzyme, the kinurenin aminotransferase, also known as ADAT. This enzyme is, uh, is indeed found in the blood and you can measure it using ELISA. And when we did that into one of our cohorts, we observed that the amount of ADAT was dramatically decreased in patients with IBD compared to LC subjects. So we thought that it might be feasible to use ADAT to hijack tryptophan metabolism toward anti-inflammatory metabolites. We produced ADAT in E. coli, we purified it, we verified its biological activity in vitro, and then we used it to treat mice submitted to DSS-induced colitis. Here we use three different doses as we did not have any clue about the dose to use. As you can see, mice treated by ADAT were protected from DSS-induced colitis with a nice dose effect. We also confirmed that this treatment was indeed able to rewire the tryptophan metabolism into the good direction uh, notably by showing that the kina to kinurenin ratio and the xana to 3-hydroxykinurenin three ratio were increased following the treatment with ADAT. So, in conclusion, our study identified a new mechanism linking tryptophan metabolism to intestinal inflammation and IBD. Bringing back xana and kina has protective effects involving AHR and the rewiring of the energy metabolism in intestinal epithelial cells and CD4 positive T cells. This study paves the way for new therapeutic strategies aiming at pharmacologically correcting its alteration in IBD by manipulating the endogenous metabolic pathway with ADAT. I want to thank all our collaborators who were involved in this project. I want to thank the funding agencies and notably ERC, ANR and AFA. And I encourage you to go and see the full paper which is in open, which is in open access to have more detail. Thank you very much for your interest.